state government and the Mietiala cattle breeders of Nigeria on Monday agreed that children being used as s men would henceforth be arrested by Amotekun operatives and their families made to pay a fine to the government. Sahara reporters also learned that the meeting agreed that s men should return to the various local government area, areas where they had been working and meet with the leadership of the Western Nigeria Security Network also known as Amotekun Corps to fish out the bad eggs and criminals posting, posting as headers. A top Mabang source in an interview with Sarah reporters relayed the details of the meeting between Governor Roti Miyakure Dolu and Magban in Akure on Monday, but argued that there was no mention of Esme being banned from forest reserves within seven days. The Magban National official said the governor invited the leaders of Magban on Monday and they had a meeting between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. They discussed issues of insecurity and the rest, so the governor emphasized that they should stop allowing small cows, small boys to graze cattle. If this happens, they will arrest the parents and the family will be made to pay some fine. They should stop night grazing and movements of cows at night is also prohibited. Then the governor ordered them to stop allowing cows to be coming into towns and government houses and government premises. Then they agreed that they should go to their local government areas and meet the leadership of Amotekun to fish out the bad eggs and criminals. That was the thrust of the meeting they had with the government on Monday. If anybody is caught wandering with cows, he should be arrested and a fine will be paid. The source said the arrest of underage on headers in the state was to commence immediately. Governor Akredolu had in a, meet, and a statement released on Monday announced a ban on movement of cattle within the city's highways and well as night grazing. He also gave Esme seven days to vacate the state's forest reserves where he said some criminals masquerading as headers had been carrying out criminal activities. As the chief law and security officer of the state, it is my constitutional obligation to do everything lawful to protect the lives and property of all residents of the state. In light of the foregoing, the following orders are hereby issued. All forest reserves in the state are to be vacated by his men within the next seven days with effect from today, which was on Monday 18th, January 2021. Night grazing is, banning, is banned with immediate effect because most cow destruction takes place at night. Movement of the cow within cities and highway is prohibited. Underage grazing of cattle is outlawed. In its usual magnanimity, administration will give a grace period of seven days for those who wish to carry on their cattle rearing business to register with appropriate authorities. Our resolution to guarantee safety of lives and property within the state shall remain utmost as security agencies have been directed to enforce the ban. Akiri Dolu's directive was informed by the killings and kidnappings happening in the state, which have largely been blamed on Fulani Hesme. Magban, in its reaction, had said that the agreement it had with the Ondo state government was to stop nice grazing and use of underage boys for grazing cows, saying it was not true that headers had been asked to vacate forest reserves in the states okay uh maybe that should not be part of the agreement but the government i think it has rights to add to what you already agreed on and i don't know whether that is how okay since they have their own uh, association and it, they've been causing problems here and there so there's need for the government to sit down on the round table and have some discussions with them i don't know whether that is how they discuss with other groups groups of people when it comes to this kind of a thing but because they already have a way of doing things and they are all, all over the country their case is giving almost everybody headache so but the governor has not come back to tell us that he didn't tell them not to vacate the not to vacate the forest but so you guys don't want to vacate the forest but you want to go with the other one but you still want to be in the forest what are you looking for inside the forest that means there's something that you people are not telling us telling us but i i hope uh, they will start uh, the immediate arrest that they are even 
talking about let them start arresting them and let's see what happens how how this will yield the results in the first place because this thing is just getting out of hand it's very very unfortunate that uh, we continue to talk about cow 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 every now and then we don't even talk about any other thing only cows what kind of a, a thing is that well actually do thank you you sweet my belly Mm. The Yoruba of this generation is highly formidable. Despite the political alliance with the North, they still have the courage to speak up against the fulanization of the North without fear of losing political position in 2023. This highly, this is highly commendable. I salute your courage, Mr. Ududua brothers. I hope they will not change their mind at the end of the day. I, the alliance they are even talking about, of what, who has he benefited? Has he benefited all of them? Who are the people aligning? aligning? They are the, the ones that are even having opportunity to dip their hands inside Kukija. That is the alliance. It, the alliance does not involve the masses. So I don't see, even see any form of alliance that is even beneficial to, to the people. Well, very good. It is a welcome development to Southwest. We are accommodating people, but don't trespass as you will see the other side of us. May God continue to guide and protect you guys this is the best news you have you have heard so far today god bless you amotekun god bless the ududu our sons and daughters for the operations of amotekun but one fully supports i fully support them go ahead and don't be afraid nothing mega god good work just do the needful to secure your people and their properties that is all Put more efforts to protect your region. This is long overdue. This is commendable. Don't start a war you can't win. We are the owners of the land. The tenant should respect his landlord. Majority must always carry the votes. I don't know which uh, this one is, uh, which angle this person is talking from. Okay, we'll go back to the north. So, hmm, you are wrong. He's going back to the footer. Jalon is not a Nigerian, hmm, small boy, weirdly speaking. <laughs> I don't blame Amosekun because they are just trying to sanitize their region against banditry and kidnapping. That is worry. That worries a uh, not. Okay, uh, that that is worried northern. That is what worrying northern part of the country for so long and due to our negligence. I really salute their efforts to save their people. If they have an interior motive, then I am. So sorry because that's fine means absolutely nothing to them. Why can't you people work on proper intelligence for God's sake? If they must stay within the host state, proper intelligence on their movements and activities should be taken paramount as to avert future occurrences. Mm, that's it. So guys, let's hear your opinion and let's know your thoughts on this.